Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Morris Zhang, the founder of TSMC, has always been opposed to building factories in the United States, believing that the United States does not have a complete industrial chain and necessary talents. However, TSMC's going to the United States to build a factory is already a certainty. Since it cannot turn back, it is better to accept it. Therefore, Morris Zhang determined that TSMC will continue to build a 3 nanometers factory in the United States. What actions does TSMC take to build a factory in the United States? Some foreign media said that TSMC has basically fallen into the trap, can it still get out? TSMC went to the United States to build a factory. TSMC's ability to make money is obvious to all, monopolizing more than 80% of the industry's profits, and more than half of the world's chips are produced by TSMC. But in order to make more money, TSMC must take action. Because of the U.S. rules, TSMC lost the cooperation with its second-largest customer. Without this part of the order, it is reasonable to say that TSMC will face huge production capacity and revenue vacancies. However, with the support of U.S. customers, TSMC has received an endless stream of orders affecting revenue but also a substantial increase. This also makes TSMC subtly rely more on American customers. If this part of the order is lost, TSMC will lose at least 60% of its revenue. However, the demand for chips has declined, and American customers have cut orders one after another. According to industry sources, TSMC's overall capacity utilization rate will drop to 80% in the first half of next year, and 5 nanometers and 4 nanometers will gradually reduce capacity utilization rates. In fact, in the first half of this year, TSMC has experienced the impact of the decline in capacity utilization, especially 7 nanometers has become the hardest hit area for cutting orders. In order to deal with customers cutting orders, TSMC had to encourage employees to take more vacations and cut capital expenditures to 36 billion US dollars, a reduction of 8 billion US dollars in capital investment from the original plan of 44 billion US dollars. Under these circumstances, what TSMC needs to do is to ensure the source of revenue. Instead of waiting for customers to come to cooperate, it is better to build the factory at the door of others, so that it is easier to get orders. As a result, TSMC went to the United States to build factories frequently, accelerating the layout of American factories. First, TSMC transports equipment and personnel to the U.S. factory. TSMC faces problems such as an incomplete industrial chain and a lack of talent in building a factory in the United States. It may be too late to temporarily purchase equipment from suppliers around the world, and it will consume more capital expenditures. This is not in line with TSMC's current focus on saving money. Need so TSMC moved the equipment from the headquarters to the United States. Anyway, the capacity utilization rate in the headquarters area has declined, and some production lines have vacant capacity. They simply transported the idle equipment to the U.S. factory, which saves money and can quickly get the equipment in place. With the equipment, there must be operating personnel, so the first batch of 300 key employees were also dispatched to the United States by TSMC. Secondly, TSMC has determined its plan to cover a 3 nanometers chip factory. In May 2020, TSMC announced plans to build a factory in the United States, investing $12 billion to build a 5 nanometers factory in Arizona, 
which will be put into operation in 2024 at the earliest. In the past few years, the outside world has been speculating whether he will decide to build a new factory. After all, TSMC has obtained the land area of six factories in Arizona, USA. TSMC has also said that it does not rule out the possibility of continuing to build factories. Sure enough, Morris Zhang confirmed TSMC's plan to build a 3 nanometers chip factory. Although no detailed investment and construction goals have been formulated, it can be confirmed that this 3 nanometers factory will be built near the 5 nanometers factory. According to this trend, TSMC may make full use of the land area of the six factories and eventually form a huge production park. So the 2 nanometers factory that has been determined may not be the ultimate goal. TSMC has fallen into the trap, can it still get out? Some foreign media said that TSMC has basically fallen into a trap. The reason for saying this is because the United States has no peace of mind for TSMC. The United States has repeatedly invited TSMC to build factories in the United States, and TSMC has promoted more factory construction actions in order to make a lot of money. I am afraid this is exactly what the United States wants to see. In this way, the United States will be able to successfully obtain the world's leading chip manufacturing technology. At present, the United States still needs to cooperate with TSMC, but in the future, the United States has the bargaining chip to get rid of TSMC's dependence. It is hard to say whether TSMC can maintain its cooperative position in the U.S. market. So can TSMC get out of the trap? In fact, it is possible, depending on how TSMC does it. TSMC needs to adhere to the global development route and build factories all over the world to avoid the concentration of industrial chain resources. The U.S. hopes for the rise of chip localization and mastery of the world's leading chip production capacity, and TSMC is the best helper. Once the U.S. concentrates the world's major chip industry chain resources, TSMC will not want to build factories in the U.S. and must increase its presence in the U.S. up. Only by dispersing resources to all parts of the world can TSMC avoid the emergence of a dominant company. In addition, TSMC must hold core technology and resources in its hands. TSMC has mastered the world's leading chip foundry technology because under the guidance of the United States, these technologies are gradually placed in American factories. Will the United States be unmoved by the technology in front of it? As long as the United States wants it, it can use technology sharing as an excuse or directly ask TSMC to hand over data. Therefore, TSMC must hold core technology and resources in its hands, build the most advanced factories in its headquarters, and let it have cards to play. TSMC's accelerated deployment of factories in the United States is obviously falling into a trap. The United States is uneasy about TSMC. If TSMC does not realize this and continues to transport equipment and personnel to the United States, it will only cause a loss of resources. I hope TSMC can prepare early and plan ahead. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you for your watching.